Okay, welcome to guide three, step two. First things first, we'll need the 3D printed internal electronics cradle. We will also need a Raspberry Pi 3B. And in step one, we installed that Raspberry Pi camera and a bunch of jumper wires. We will also need a 3D printed faceplate that will protect the Raspberry Pi. And we're also gonna need two of these half inch size 440 machine screws. We're gonna use these to affix the Raspberry Pi and the faceplate to the internal electronics cradle. Let's start by placing the internal cradle in front of you. Make sure that the side with those two struts is on the right hand side. Now let's start mounting the Raspberry Pi. Make sure the USB and Ethernet ports face the right hand side. It should snap into place on those 3D printed cylinders pretty easily. Make sure that the Pi camera and the jumper wires uh, hang out of the assembly. Just check that they're not bunched up anywhere. Now it's time to position the faceplate over the Raspberry Pi. You'll want to make sure that each of the four pre-tapped holes in the faceplate line up with those on the Raspberry Pi and in those uh, 3D printed cylinders on the internal cradle. It's now time to get out a screwdriver and start threading those 440 machine screws through the faceplate, through the Raspberry Pi, and into those cylinders on the internal cradle. We like to use just two 440 machine screws, uh, one at each opposing corner of the faceplate. Alright, I hope this helped you make some progress on your ROV. Thanks for watching.